Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name's Cam Williams, and Ukrainian tennis player Alina Svitolina has pulled out of her first round match at the Monterey Open against Russian player Potapova in protest of having to play against Russian players with the conflict that's going on with her home country and the nation of Russia. Uh, she actually came out with a statement. Let's go have a read. So this is what the statement from Svetlina says. Dear all, I believe the current situation requires a clear position from our organizations, ATP, WTA, and ITF. As such, we, Ukrainian players, requested to ATP, WTA, and ITF to follow the recommendations of the IOC to accept Russia and Belarusian nations only as neutral athletes, without displaying any national symbols, colors, flags, or anthems. Accordingly, I want to announce that I won't be playing in the Monterey Open, nor any other match against Russian or Belarusian tennis players until our organizations take this necessary decision. I do not blame any of the Russian athletes. They are not responsible for the invasion of our motherland. Moreover, I wish to pay tribute to all the players, especially Russians and Belarusians who bravely stated their position against the war. Their support is essential. So there you have it. Svetlina coming out and saying that she will not play any Russian or Belarusian players as long as they can represent their flags and their nations and their countries. Now, we know that the Olympics, if you've been watching the Olympics over the last few years, you'll see that Team Rock has been the nation that uh, Russians have been kind of under, the Russian Olympic Committee. So they haven't been represented by their flags or their anthems in those tournaments. So Svetlina wants something done like that on the ten in the tennis world as well. Both ATP, WT, and ITF, who are the Grand Slam holders, they do all the Grand Slams. So let me know in the comments below. Do you think this is a good stance? I think this is a reasonable decision. It's, you know, people are asking that Russian players and Belarusian players be banned. We'll talk about that in another video, but do you think Svetlina's case of, you know, having the players from Russia and Belarus, you know, get it, stripping them of their flags for the remainder of this conflict and, you know, having them maybe go under the rock banner, which we've seen over the last few years, especially at the Olympics. You know, we've seen that over the Olympics. 